Hello all, uh, Project Wargaming, I'm back with an update on the uh, some Civil War fence that I've been working on. So, um, uh, one of the fences that you see sometimes in Civil War is you have this uh, stone fence with um, uh, combined with uh, a rail fence. And so uh, they would build up kind of an already stone pile that they threw all the rocks out of the field on and then um, put some... A rail fence on top of that just to raise it up a little bit and keep the the animals in uh, or out I guess so um, anyways it's a little complicated to make uh, from what I found uh, this I think think this comes from total battle and I've just never really been happy with them um, my total battle stuff is amazing in pretty much every other way but this stuff's just a little too clunky for me um, it's not bad as far as just how it looks and and everything but it's just a little too wide and a little too tall and um so just never really been super happy with them also they're fairly short and you know kind of pricey once you ship them across the the pond so um just never been really happy with them and kind of worked on making some of my own so what i've done is i have uh, kind of made made this uh so i I catted this up in Tinkercad, and um, as you can see, it is, you know, a rail fence. It's got a cross beams there, and then a rail on the top, and a rail on the bottom, and then a rail down below here as well. And so down below here, I put like a little wall, basically. And so all I do to finish off this uh, stone rail is I just come in, and I found that Elmer's glue works just as well i've done it in, with super glue as well but elmer's elmer's glue is just you don't have to clean up your hands as much and uh, allows you to get a little messier um and so all i do is just come in on the edge and um fill in the corner there that the uh the wall and the base kind of make and then i'll bring it over to my ballast from train stuff and then I just sprinkle that on top so that's all I do that is it for um, how I get it and then you just kind of pull it out and just shake it off a bit and then set it off to the side uh, let it dry and then I do typically come back in and then um, once it's dry I hit it with a, a kind of a bristly brush and get some of the excess off and I also go in with a really thin um, CA super glue um, and just uh, put it put a layer over top of that um, which you can see on this this piece that's actually broken see it's a little shinier so it just kind of gets in the crevices and it really makes the stuff stick so you don't have to worry about it falling off at all um, so uh, again pretty happy with how that came out uh, this is what it looks like with um miniature up up beside it um once it gets painted then it looks pretty well or pretty good i have uh the three pieces i got the long piece obviously and then i got the medium piece and then i have a short piece so uh that uh, seems to work pretty well on my battle field and uh fills in cracks and crevices and everything around different pieces of terrain. So anyways, that's it. Uh, they are on my uh, Project Wargaming Thingiverse page. So if you go there, you'll find them. And uh, you know, if you have a friend that can has a re resin 3D printer, then they're free for download. So um, got like five different designs of fences now. Um, and uh, uh, definitely gotten some downloads already. So that's it. I will talk to you later.